All right, let us look at this example one. In example one, they say that Veristar Limited has an authorized share capital of 2 million rand. The company was founded on the 1st of March, 2019. On 1 March, 2020, the company had 600,000 issued shares. So at the beginning of um, March, 2020, the company had issued shares worth 600,000. So those shares are gone, are no longer with us. Note that we have authorized shares of 2 million, but only 600,000 shares were issued. And when you look at the balance on the 1st of March, 2020, they say that ordinary share capital, in bracket, they put in 600,000 shares, was 2,100,000. 2,100,000, um, it's simply the capital amount that we have received, we have raised by issuing 600,000 shares. So that is our opening balance. That opening balance, we will simply, I love recording as I read. Um, I will simply go straight to my ordinary share capital node and put down there the number of authorized shares. So the number of authorized shares will be 2 million. And under issued, I'll put in there my opening balance of shares. So shares, number of shares at the beginning of the year were 600,000. And the share capital raised from that will be 2,100,000. Okay. Let's read further. Then they say that the company issued 400,000 shares at 800 cents per share on the 30th of May, 2020. Let's record that in our ordinary share capital note. So when we record that in our ordinary share capital note, we will have 400,000 rand. And then you'll write additional shares issued during the year at 800 cents per share. Please note that to get that 3.2, you have to take that 800,000, I mean 800 cents and divide it by 100. 800 cents divided by 100 will give you eight rand. Take that eight rand and multiply it by 400,000. It'll give you 3,200. So you're getting more money. When you issue shares, you're getting more money. So now your share capital in total is no longer sitting at 2.1 million. It's now sitting at um that will be 5.3 million all right that is what we have as share capital and hundred um and a million shares are with the shareholders when we um when we have taken into account the 400,000 shares that were issued and then it says here the company issued another 100,000 additional shares on the 1st of September 2020 for seven rand per share. That will also be recorded in your ordinary share capital note. So you will have 100,000 additional shares issued during the year at seven, at seven rand. So you will simply take 100,000 multiplied by seven rand and that will give you 700,000. Now let's calculate the balance of uh, number of shares at the end of the year, you will simply take 600,000, add it with 400,000, add that with 100,000, it'll give you 1,100,000. And this is the number of shares that will be issued by the 28th of February, 2021, which is the end of the financial year. Your share capital will simply be 2.1 million plus 3.2 million plus 700,000, that will give us 6 million. So in total, we have a share capital of 6 million and the shareholders have um, 1,100,000 shares. Obviously that will be reflected in their share certificates. Note that the shareholders have the shares worth 1.1 million and we've got share capital worth 6 million. And that 6 million, we can use it to find any other activity within the business. Try classwork too quickly. Please note that the notes will be found um, in the link that I will provide when I um, post this video. So just check on the description and you'll find the link there. Follow that link and download the notes on this and make sure you have the handout whilst you complete, whilst you watch this uh, video and you must complete that handout as I post each video. Try this classwork quickly.